Hi there, this is a review of the Shore Flap Microchip Cat Flap. Now I'll start out by saying that this is not a solicited review. Uh, I've never heard of this company before. Uh, I paid full price for this product. It's, uh, it's something that we need. Uh, so we found this online, we ordered it, and uh, you, this video will take us through um, what I'm finding here and I'll show you the installation. If I like it, great. If I don't like it, we'll tell you that too. Now, this product I found online, again, I've never heard of the company before, but the idea here is that this is an automatic cat flap. There's electronics in here that will detect the microchip that your cat is already carrying, uh, usually, uh, usually behind his neck. What they do at the vet office these days is they give each cat a, uh, an RFID uh, chip so that if your cat gets lost, he can be returned. Uh, the idea is you get uh, this cat flap and it's got this electronic gate here and your cat can always go outside. Uh, you can adjust that as well but the uh, you can always go outside so the cat can always go outside. Now the idea here is when your cat wants to come back inside he goes into the tunnel and the electronics in the tunnel detect the RFID uh, sensor that is in his chip. It unlocks this little tag, uh, this little gate here, and the cat can go through the gate. When some unauthorized animal, let's say a local raccoon or a skunk or something like that, wants to go in, there's no chip, there's no detection. It, uh, you know, not going to happen. Now, if you have a really, really large animal, like, uh, you know, a rhinoceros, or an elephant, or Rosie O'Donnell, or maybe a big grizzly bear. They're just going to knock the whole wall down, so then that's another story. So we're going to go ahead and install. Oh, by the way, notice that I'm not doing an unboxing video. Unboxing videos are stupid. This is what the box like. This is what the product looks like. It comes with a little manual in, in uh, eight different languages. I only speak English, so that's what we'll follow. So let's get this thing installed and see how it works. Now let's be realistic here. All vets and cat breeders recommend that if you can keep your cat indoors all the time, you should. It's safer for the cat, the cat will live longer, but if conditions don't permit that, say you adopted a cat who was already an indoor-outdoor animal, or if like this little pain in the butt here, the call of the wild was just uh, too strong, begs to be let outside all the time, then you can use something like this. Now this operates on four AA batteries. So we'll just put those in. Okay, see our LED came on there. Now we're going to put the system into learn mode and we're going to make it learn this animal here. Now normally this would be done after it's installed, but for the purpose of this video we're actually going to learn his code right here in our living room. So I'm taking the battery compartment off there's a button here. When you hold down this button for a second or two, the latch opens. Now you put the animal through. Put the animal through. <laughs> Ready? See that? Come on, go okay, away. it's already learning him, so let's show this for a second. Training your cat to use it is going to be another story. Now, what I want you to watch, watch this little latch down here. When she pushes the cat through, you'll see this latch opens. Even when he just enters, See that? Well, if you want to do it, training him to use the door is going to be another story, but you saw when he got near it, the latch opened. My chosen location for the short flap cat door is going to be right here in my garage door. I know it goes up and down a little bit, but if you look around this room, there's just uh, there's cinder block. I'm not putting it through cinder block. So, so I'm going to put it right here in my garage door, but I also don't want it slamming into the bottom of the um, floor every time the garage door opens or closes. So I'm going to take a little shim, put it here, and that's how I'm going to get, that's how I'm going to get my height. This will take it about three quarters of an inch off the floor. So I'm going to hold it here, hold it in place, and then I'm just going to trace with a pencil around the cat door. Now underneath is going to be a little tough, but it's important to hold it in place. And they'll come around like this. 
as much as I can. There you go. Now I've raised the garage door a little bit so we don't have to do this video at floor level. There's the outline that we traced, so we're going to just cut through here. I'm going to start with my power drill by just going right through the corners, and then we'll finish it up with a saber saw. Save this, so if you ever uninstall the cat door, you can patch it very easily. Take your cat flap, remove this portion, insert it into the hole you just made. And then place this right here. Now all you have to do is screw it in. They give you two different lengths of screws depending on the thickness of the door that you've put the uh, cat flap into. I'm going to use the longer ones. That's it. Now we just clean it up. Now this is the hard part. When the cat wants to come in some other way, you've got to force him through the Oh, where did he go? There he is. Hello, cat. Hello, cat. I know you want to come in through the normal door. <laughs> so we have to shove him through the kitty door. Go <laughs> through, oh, the, through kitty. the kitty door. <laughs> You're such a pain in the butt. Hey, meathead. <laughs> Go through. Yes, we have a pain in the butt cat. Go through the key. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. <laughs> and he's inside. Uh, my suggestion is that uh, when you pack the box up and uh, you're saving the manual, the registration card, and your spare parts, you should also keep the. Uh, uh, the piece that you cut out of your door. Put that in here. That way, if you want to uninstall it later, you'll uh, you'll have that patch piece and it'll be easier to go. If you like this video, subscribe, like, you know.